All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So I got this sent out to me. Let's see what the HE Double Hockey Sticks it is. All right, so here we have the Core Essentials Micro Battle Belt. Yes, it's awesome. So what do we get in the box? So this is the B1 Coyote Battle Belt, and what B1 means I will let you know in a minute, but I got that in the belt hanger. Let's see, a little core essentials, how to. There's plenty of videos showing how to cut it to size, how to put the buckle on there, all that stuff. So I will not be going over that today. You can figure that out for yourself. And if you can't, then you don't deserve this belt. Okay, anyway, <laughs> so here's the belt hanger. These are pretty cool. You hang this up in your closet or wherever, and then each one of your belts will clip to it and keep it nice and uh, out of the way. So, all right, let's keep going into the box. Here we have the belt itself, the outer and inner portions of the belt. We have our buckle, which I will show you now. Here is the sweet buckle. These things are aluminum. They're nice. They're pretty cool. So very durable. All right. And what else do we get in here? We get our belt keeper. Our belt keeper, a measuring tape, which will be used to size it to your body and the instructions tell you exactly how to do that. You got your screws and your Allen uh, wrench and I honestly don't even know what the heck this is here. Oh, it's the uh, little end piece for your belt so you can crimp that down and it keeps the uh, end of your belt from fraying, so cool. All right, so that's pretty much what comes in the box. Let's go ahead and get the box out of the way so I can keep going with this. All right, so we're gonna look at the inner belt first and then we'll go over the outer belt. So the inner belt is just, you know, what it says. So this part runs through your belt loops. Got this nice Velcro exterior here. Um, this is not the Velcro that will stick to your shirt. So that is good because I hate when that happens. You could potentially use this as an EDC belt. So if you wanted to go ahead and run the inner belt, you know, do your EDC thing and then, hey, I'm going to pop by the range. Then you just throw your outer belt on over top of it and you're good to go. You don't have to switch your entire belt system. Um, I wouldn't really do that. I do have a EDC belts from core that I typically run. Um, but I'm looking forward to trying this micro battle belt here. So really that's uh, all there is to say. The, the inner belt is reinforced as well. So you can see this thing keeps its shape. I can hold these two ends here and it doesn't droop, it doesn't sag, it doesn't do any of that craziness. It keeps its rigidity because it has that power core center. All right, so essentially all you do is run that through your belt loops and then your outer belt will go ahead and stick to it as you see there. So let's go ahead and get the inner belt out of the way. Here is the outer belt. We're gonna talk about a few things here. So these come in three different colors. You have coyote, ranger green, and black. And these are 1.75 inch belts and they will fit waist size 24 to 48 inches. And how they accomplish that is you have that adjustability from this little hidden track here, which gives you over 20 uh, po sizing points right here. Um, and they adjust in quarter inch increments. So I don't know if you can see those little teeth there. Basically, once you get this uh, hooked into your belt, it's got this little lever right here. And that's how you go ahead and adjust your belt on the fly. So say you were going to the range, you could have this cinch down for, you know, walking, running, whatever you're doing. You get into your car, you hit that little switch on the buckle. It loosens the belt up so that way you're not compressing everything you get out of the car and then you push it a couple click 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 and back to tighten you don't have to take it off to adjust it potentially dropping your firearm and all kinds of goofiness that i see all over the internet every day um so this thing uh is nylon webbed it has the obviously your dual molly it's double freaking super tough stitched you can just tell this is super rigid um just listen to this thing this thing's got some uh, some beef to it. Again, you can hold both ends way down here. It keeps its rigidity, doesn't drop, doesn't do anything because of that power core center and the reinforced nylon. Um, and it's awesome. This thing will support up to 20 pounds of gear. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not putting 20 pounds of stuff on my belt. Um, firearm, you know, maybe four 
ish five pounds maybe if you got a really heavy one with ammo and stuff then uh you know your 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 med kit freak it or ifac whatever you run on your stuff tourniquet a couple mag pouches and stuff like that shouldn't be anywhere near that 20 pound mark but that's what it's advertised as so that's pretty cool right this thing does come in at around 140 dollars um in addition to there being three different color choices, there are two different buckles. Uh, this is the B1 belt, and I'm guessing it's I don't know, it's got this little honeycomb uh, pattern here. The B2 is just a little bit more of a solid pattern versus you know all the little honeycomb holes. So really, it's just your choice, whatever uh, whatever one you think looks better to you. But they do the same thing. Uh, nothing really different functionally at all. Um, so let's go ahead and put some gear on this thing and, uh, see how it, how it looks, how it holds up and, uh, how she is. Let's go. Got my belt's cut and I am ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and take off my core EDC belt. Ooh, fancy. And now I'm going to get my inner belt and do my dang thing. So... Um, what I will show you right here is sometimes you, uh, had to run the inner belt kind of off to the sides. So that way it didn't bunch up. However, this one has this hex meshing right here in the front. So you can go ahead and put that right over the front and the buckle's not going to be impounded or impeded, I should say, because typically the belts overlap each other like that. And it makes that like thick, nasty ish stuff that we don't want so we don't have that problem now because that little hex area for the front will make sure the buckle sits nice and flush so we can go ahead and run our belt like normal if i have to tell you how to run a belt through loops we've got issues so bear with me uno momento all right so got that All right, now you see that little hex area should be right over your zipper button area. All right, so now I've got my outer belt and what I'm gonna do to make it easy, um, if you have your shirt tucked in, it's a little bit easier, but I'm gonna take my buckle and put it right over the front where I want it. And I'm gonna go ahead and start following along the back side of my pants and just following the Velcro and sticking it on. All right, once I get to this point here, then it just goes, you can already hear it starting to click in. And I can adjust it however tight I need it. And then I got my keeper here. I'll go ahead and loosen that, run the belt through it. I'm not gonna cinch it down just yet. So get my belt as tight as I want it. Right there seems good. And go ahead and put my keeper closed. Jeez. There we go. And there you have it. Belt is ran all the way around. Looks good, super tight and secure. I'm gonna go ahead and put some uh, gear on here then I'll throw it back on and we'll go from there. But say I had my gear on here right now and I was about to uh, you know, pop a squat, I just hit this little lever here, pop it out a couple clicks, one, two, and then boom, now it's got that extra room. I can sit down, be nice and comfortable, stand back up and Click it back into place and we're good. Back to being tight and nice. So let's put some uh, let's put some gear on here. And so as you can see, I've now got myself loaded down. I have a very minimalist uh, approach to my battle belt. It's got my fully loaded weapon system, three fully loaded mags of uh, for the pistol, one AR mag. I have my dump pouch here and then a tourniquet. So that's pretty much what I run on my battle belt and that's what I'll continue to run, and I'll have my medical stuff elsewhere. I have a system that works for me, and this is what's it. So very minimal, nowhere near that 20 pound mark. However, I did put everything, everything here is fully loaded. All the mags are loaded, uh, weapons loaded, just like I would if I was about to embark on whatever journey. So um, you can see there's absolutely no movement of this thing. I can draw my weapon no movement at all from the belt again if i wanted to sit down or do anything just go ahead and hit that little lever and i have all the room in the world 
to play around with and loosen the belt and then go ahead and you'll hear the clicks to tighten it back up and I'm ready to rock and roll and do whatever I need to do. So that is the Core Essentials Micro Battle Belt. Thank you to Carl for sending this out to me. Um, truly appreciate it. Let me know what you guys think down in those comments. Like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Let's do a couple little exercises here. Uh, uh, uh. Shimmy, 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 shake. All that good stuff. Go ahead and uh, comment about that in, down below. Uh, I can't wait to read them. Uh, guys, this thing rocks. So thanks for watching.